Okay, um, hello 28ers and more importantly, I would say partners and supporters of 28ers. Not to um, put aside 28ers because essentially you are the same thing if you are helping or following a friend or a partner and essentially doing what I am doing. I'm trying to look at the camera without looking at the screen, so excuse me for the um, poor videography on my part. Um, <clears throat> I have been doing with my partner, Liana Rossi, who is posting this up for me. Uh, 28 now for eight, eight and a half weeks. And uh, my starting weight was 115 kilos. And I will try to edit in a picture of me before up around here where my finger is pointing. I don't know, maybe I won't. Depends on my editing skills. Um, 115 kilos is what I maxed out at. And oh, it was a happy 115 kilos. Not happy that I was 115 kilos, but I wasn't an unhappy person. Um, I have quite an active job as a postman, so I always thought that my job helped keep me reasonably fit. And for a big person of 100 plus kilos, I was pretty good at what I did. Um, I was fitter than quite a few people when it came to walking, but I walked every day, so walking was normal for me. But on the inside is you don't know what's going on. And I did get a blood test uh, eight years ago um, I probably wasn't 115 kilos eight years ago, but I was I was 100 or pushing 100. And um, the only thing the doctor said was everything else, everything seems fine. It's pretty much your liver because I did drink. Um, I still drink now, but much reduced. But I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but before I started this, um, eight and a bit weeks ago, I was drinking anywhere between. 12 to 20 beers a week um, not including wine or anything else that we may have had if we went to a party or something that was just my daily drinking I become a daily drinker um, junk food daily chocolate bars chips all that sort of thing um, I guess I just saw 100 kilos that's where I was um, it fluctuated between 100 and 110 for a long time uh, and it did start to push up higher than that near the end and uh, I guess a few things in my life. I promised myself at 40, I would do something about it. That was three years ago. So I'm behind on that, but at least I've made a start um, and we're doing something different. I mean, the whole reason we got into this was Liana's daughter, Amanda, who was also here on this Facebook page. I am not because I'm not an official member, but I'm a supporter. I'm the companion app, put it that way. Um, and uh, our daughter did it and she said it was fantastic and I thought, okay, this is gonna be like light and easy and all the other shit that we had tried just to try and make ourselves a little bit healthier and to change our lifestyle a little bit. But, and not to knock light and easy because I'm sure lots of people do it and they're successful at it, but things like light and easy don't teach you anything. Um, a, a powdered shake doesn't teach you anything. Taking, you know, people take shakes and stuff. A, packaged meals don't teach you anything and the way that I've approached 28, because it's very different for me, I have my lifestyle. In honesty, if I'd done this on my own, I wouldn't have picked 28 because it doesn't really fit into my, my, my work and my lifestyle very well. And I didn't think that I would be able to achieve anything on this. I thought my missus would, and she's done really well, and her body, her weight, her shape, and her general feeling has improved, much as mine. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, so I've got off track a little bit here, I don't know. Um, I wanted to make this video as, I don't know, not an inspirational video for anyone else, but I mean, I want people to approach things the right way. And what I learned from myself was before I even started this, I said to myself, I didn't say to myself here, I said it here. This is where you need to say it, okay? So before you can do it here in your heart, before you can do it here on your stomach, on your ass, on your legs, whatever it is you decide to work on, it starts here, 100%. Think about, for me, for the last 10, 20 years, nearly two decades, my brain was wired to think that treats, junk food, alcohol, were an everyday thing. Where did that come from? Where in society did that become the norm? It's a bit scary. You look overseas in some other countries and it's, it's the same thing. Um, 
I thought that was normal. It, a trait wasn't a trait anymore. A trait was something that was even worse than a trait. Like you remember back to when you were a kid, if you, I don't know, if you're 30 or 40 up, something like having chocolates or going out for a meal or something like that was a trait and maybe once a month, once a week if you were lucky. Now it's an everyday thing. Now everywhere you go, signboards, posters, advertisements, have it now, it's good for you, you'll enjoy it, blah, 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 blah. So that's always there in front of you. That's always in your face. But there's two ways, two ways you can look at that. One is, hey, that's great, I wanna have that. And that's how I've lived the last 10, 20 years of my life. And the other way, using this, is to show yourself that's what you don't need. And when you think about it that way, when you're not sure about what to have or what not to have, it's everywhere. The signs are everywhere for you what not to do because it's pushed in our face every day to do it for whatever reason. They don't care, they make money. They're just selling stuff. It's up to you whether you indulge, overindulge. Well, that's what I did for a long time was overindulge. And I decided to make a change. Now, there's a couple of things that, for me, that kicked that, kicked that in, that, that made me start, which made me make that choice, was I was 115 kilos. I knew that. I knew that I needed to lose some weight. Um, my wife was telling me my snoring. I was sleeping in a different bed to my missus. Um, sleep apnea, which I'm pretty sure I still have, and I am gonna get some tests done for that, but I would like to get down to my goal weight first. So we've got a little bit more to go there, because I don't wanna to go to the doctor and say, you need to lose weight. That's the first thing. I wanna go in there and just, Okay, let's get the test done. Let's see what's going on. Um, so sleeping in a different bedroom to my missus during the week, only sharing a bed on the weekends. So I wasn't getting good sleep. She wasn't getting good sleep. And sleep's so important when it comes to just general health and well-being. I apologize if I keep looking down all the time because I'm looking at myself to see how terrible I look. But um, yeah, it's, uh, then my dad had a stroke. And it was a very mild stroke, but it was a bit of a wake up for me because my dad's much healthier than me. And I, I, I realized that my health, as far as what I eat, what I drink and all of that, was much worse than what my father does. My dad's a vegetarian. He walks like I do as a postman. Um, dad likes to drink as well. He probably doesn't drink as much as I do. But that's, that's my bloodline. And it, do I want that? Do I want that in my 40s? Dad's 60 and it happened to him. Do I want that in my, my 40s, in my 50s? Or do I want to do something about it? Do I want to make a change? And I decided I want to make a change. So I started here. And I told myself, if I'm going to do this, 100%. Not a little bit here, a little bit there. So we did it, and we decided to do it. And we're still doing it after nearly nine weeks. And I cannot explain the energy levels. I cannot explain the happiness. I'm already a happy person. You know, they say fat people are jolly. I was, a, I was a jolly fat person. I'm still a little bit fat, I'm not gonna lie. But I just, it's hard to explain the feeling that you get. And I think what's more important than your weight loss when you're going through this is your, your well being and your feeling, how you feel. Gauge yourself on how you feel. Now you're all gonna have flat days. I have flat days. I've had a couple of weeks there where I lost no weight, but I didn't let it get me down because I thought about how I felt inside. What I was doing each day, having a little, that little jump in your step, like coming up to a set of stairs when I'm delivering mail and powering up those stairs with a backpack full of 16 kilos on my back. So not only was I carrying around 115 kilos in my stomach and where else, I was carrying mail around on, in a backpack on my back from anywhere from 16 kilos down, depending on how much mail I was carrying at any particular time. That's a lot of fucking weight for your body to be dealing with. Now when I put on a backpack like that, it's, it feels like nothing to me. It feels light. My body feels completely different. It's, it's how I feel. It's not just my weight loss. It's not just my body shape. I still got weight to lose. I still got things to do, things to achieve but I have a positive attitude, I push myself. And these things here, music, music's a big thing for me. Well, music was always, always been a big thing for me, but I sort of strayed away from music a little bit. I don't know why. I'm getting old, settling down, listening to talkback radio, which I still love. 
Um, I'm not trying to be young. It's not that I want to be young. Like, I guess some people would say, oh, you just want to be younger again. Maybe midlife crisis has been mentioned to me by a certain person that I love. But no, not midlife crisis, but just changing my life for the better. Doing something that's important for my health, for my well-being, for my happiness. And by doing that, I make my life with my partner a better life. My life with my family a better life. And if I can do it, someone who, if you looked in the back seat of my car nine weeks ago, there would have been McDonald's packets, KFC packets, soft drink, you name it. My back, back of my car was full of that shit. You ask my missus, she wants to take photos. I don't even know if she's got any photos. If she does, I'll ask her to put them up. But um, now I eat all the foods I have to eat. But this is what I want to get into. More importantly is, is it hard? Fuck yes, it's hard. But how badly do you want it? How badly do you want to push yourself to do it? So for me, I don't do the breakfast and I don't do the lunch. <laughs> you don't eat? No. So at work for me, I worked out my own routine, but I follow the guidelines of 28. I still do the dinners for 28. I come home, I make those dinners, I eat those dinners, but I do my own breakfast. I have fruit salad most days, sometimes with a bit of yogurt. I still have my coffee with milk, no sugar. I have no more processed sugar. Any sugars I have are in fruit and any sweet vegetables. That's it. I drink water 24 seven, round the clock. I have the odd beer maybe once a week. Once a week, that's it. From 16, on average, 16 beers a week to one. And sometimes I won't have a beer for a fortnight. So maybe my average is even less, I don't know. But if you feel that you can't do all the meals or you can't cook all the meals or you don't want to prep meals, I'm proof alone that just through choices, better choices that you make throughout your day, that you can do it. Okay, the bonus for me is I get exercise and I walk every day. But what you have to remember is I've been doing postal work for 18 years now. My body is used to walking those distances. It's not a massive workout for me. Now, the, my biggest weight loss just came through eating, changing my dietary habits and eating these meals and following what 28 is about, what you need to cut out, what you need to improve, what you need to do, and the focus. The focus is so important. And how you'll feel is just motivation enough that once you start feeling good, you motivate yourself more and more. So I've started doing treadmill work now. That's my new thing. Um, I try and get half an hour in, roughly two kilometers of a steady, strong walk um, on the treadmill every other day. I don't want to drill myself so hard that I, in the morning I don't want to get up and go to work. I want to feel good every day. And the feedback that I'm getting from the people that I work with, people that I bump into that haven't seen me ages, is amazing. And it keeps your spirits going. And that's one other thing I just want to mention before I end this video is... When you start this, you get really excited about it when you see it. Try not to be a Demtel commercial and pump people with the information because I've found people will come to you and ask you. And when people come to you and ask you and you talk about it, they listen and they get excited and they get motivated and they get inspired. But when you go after people and try to ram it down their throat, and you don't mean to, but you end up sounding like someone knocking on the door trying to sell something and people switch off and they're not interested. You might inspire someone just to eat a bit more fruit each day, to drink a bit more water. It may just inspire them to, to try a little harder at whatever it is they do. But people will come to you and you'll inspire them. But doing it for yourself, you don't worry about other people. You don't have to do it for other people. You need to put that energy into doing it for yourself and the rest will come. So been nearly 15 minutes now and I've been jabbering on. Um, I just wanted to share my weight loss. Today I hit 89 kilos. Um, first time I've been in the 80s for a fucking long time. Sorry for swearing, but it's been a long time. 115 to 89 in eight and a half weeks. I think it's pretty good effort. Um, maybe it's fast, maybe it's not. Um, I've had a couple of slow weeks, but don't let that get you down. Find yourself some inspirational music, songs that pump you up, feel good stuff when you go for a walk, when you do all sorts of things and, and use that as motivation when you're feeling a little bit down. That's all I can say, but you can do it. Whether you do it, whether you follow it to the T 
whether you need to buy your own meals, because remember, it's life. You're gonna be out there doing things, but just remember what you're doing and what you're doing it for and pushing yourself and staying positive. And when you're feeling down, take a look at a picture that you used to look like. Think about how you're feeling on the inside. Love yourself a little bit, because you can't rely on other people to do that for you. You've gotta be able to do it for yourself. So that's my little speech. I promised myself I would do something once I got into the 80s and I thought giving back to you guys, um, all the people on here, my feelings and what I've done um, and share with you guys. So thank you for listening. If you stayed all the way through, I hope that if you're having any bad times of that, that this helps you um, to push through and do whatever. And I wanna thank Sam Woods and the entire crew and everyone that's put this together, I think this is one of the best programs that you can try and see if it works for you. It's totally worth it as far as I'm concerned. So to all you 28ers and most importantly, all you people that support 28ers and do it with them, like me, you can do it. It's not hard. Just gotta win here first. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a great day.